Are you still stacking sets? Have you bought Bitcoin today? So we are on a number go up trajectory as usual. And there's actually a very interesting article, uh, but before we go to, do, to that article, um, welcome to the Cape on the Bounty Connection show. Uh, let me just show you the article I meant. It's on coinshares.com. And the title is Volatility, the Price of Opportunity. I'm going to put those in the show notes. You can check it out for yourself. And essentially, the essential point is Bitcoin and more broadly, digital assets represent the birth of new asset class, something rarely witnessed. Consequently, there is no yardstick to compare what their volatility should look like. And, you know, I'm not a big fan of portfolios, whatever, but it's for the sake of it, it says here in a 60 to 40 portfolio, we find that the Sortino rate, uh, Sortino ratio is considerably higher relative to the Sharp ratio, implying that when upside volatility is removed, risk adjusted returns improve. So what they're also saying is that in the years to come, this volatility that you're seeing is going to become less and less. It's going to be reduced. And then it says on uh, further on, the regular rebalancing schedule is an effective tool in mitigating volatility. Long-term trends suggest Bitcoin's volatility will decline to levels similar to those seen in other asset classes by approximately 2025. Um, today, by the way, is um, February 18th, 2021. It's uh, around 1 p.m. Central European time, and the Bitcoin price is in Euro uh, 42,617, and the high, all time high, was 43,704. So, you know, uh, uh, to be honest, I'm not surprised anymore after all, you know, the FOMO has kicked in and uh, MicroStrategy has now you know, uh, doubled and tripled <laughs> their Bitcoin holdings, another whatever approximately $900 million or approximately a billion dollars more, you know, taking up, a, 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 you know, issuing notes, bond, is bond notes and buying, buying even more at 0% rate as far as I know. But you can check that out uh, on my Twitter feed also. Please follow me on Twitter. That's Kevin Davani. And... Uh, let me just, uh, before I go on further, uh, um, yeah, so, you know, check out that that article on coinshares.com, volatility, the price of opportunity. The last paragraph is pretty interesting. Our analysis suggests employing a regular portfolio rebalancing strategy as some professional investors are already doing is an effective strategy to have reduced volatility portfolio, blah, blah, blah. It, it also helped improve risk adjusted returns and significantly reduce maximum drawdown. We expect a downwards trajectory. Now this is the most important sentence. We expect the downwards trajectory and volatility for Bitcoin and other digital, digital assets to continue as this exciting new asset class matures. Regardless, when investing in Bitcoin, we continue to see volatility as the price of opportunity. Okay, um, so to be honest with you, we are still in the honeymoon phase, as Eric Basquiel also says uh, in his articles on Libitcoin and also uh, in his recently published book, Crypto Economics. A very rational, you know, thinker, rational economist, as Eric Basquiel would call himself. And um, I want to uh, direct you to my article. Please read it on medium.com slash Davani. It's called Self-Sovereign Individuals and hyper Bitcoinized Technologies. And it starts off with a quote by Buckminster Fuller. He was a you know designer, inventor, uh, architect, a thinker, you know, philosopher, a really a genius. And he said, "You never change things by fighting the existing reality. To change something, build a new model that makes the existing model obsolete." So it's a quote by R. Buckminster Fuller. And. Yeah, if you want, I can read it for you. And um, but if you don't have time, you know, you can still check out either the article. I also put it together as um, as a Twitter thread on my on my Twitter account, um, as well as the article with the link to the article. But since um, 
yeah, since, uh, you know, this is a really important topic. And by the way, I'm going to have uh, numerous talks in uh, starting uh, this Sunday, um, most probably on Sunday, uh, February 21st, and then the week after, together with Eric Vasquil, you know, Alex Svetsky, Yuri Degaya, Eric Kaysen, um, maybe even Dave Collum, uh, he already said he will, he's willing to, you know, to come on a discussion with me. He's a great thinker. He's not a Bitcoiner, but he, he still is able, you know, to think outside the box, you know, and he does, you know, raise legitimate questions. All right. Um, so this is my article, Self-Sovereign Individuals and Hyper-Bitcoinized Technologies. And make sure you, you know, you read all my other previous articles because it's somehow interconnected. Slavery of freedom. As humanity is transitioning into a more and more purely digital, cryptographically protected, decentralized, censorship and seizure resistant, unconfiscatable and borderless zero to one technologically advanced civilization. It is time then to reflect upon a possibly cruel reality human individuals are about to be confronted with. We have a huge challenge to make the literally untouchable structures of monopolies on aggression, violence, coercion, wars and systemic theft taxation, inflation, etc., obsolete. In short, humanity needs to get out of this horrendous slavery. Read the fantastic article by Robert Breedlove, Masters and Slaves of Money. It's a really excellent article. Some of the critical thinkers outside Bitcoin's eco chamber, such as Dave Collum or Godfrey Bloom, have articulated their serious concerns about the future of Bitcoin and the Bitcoin community, even though they do admit their lack of knowledge and comprehension of Bitcoin. I have a lot of respect for intellectuals who are open-minded and can question the existing matrix outside the box. There are a few essential points that are not understood. If we as individuals and, huma and humanity cannot free ourselves from the shackles of the existing slavery controlled by central bankers, nation states, governments, and other technocratic puppets and the military industrial corporate intelligence complex, then we are fucked one way or another. This is why Bitcoin matters on a never seen or experienced fundamental root level. Philosophical and theoretical discussions alone are not much of, mu of much help in my humble opinion. Human action is more urgent than ever now. The book, The Sovereign Individual, is often cited and quoted in so many discussions on Bitcoin podcasts and in many articles or books, but I've never heard a really deep down the rabbit hole elaboration and how the sovereign individuals would be able to resist, defy, and defend themselves against a potentially executed aggression, violence, and coercion by an extremely powerful militarized and highly technologically weaponized police state within any nation state or supranational entity, European Union, NATO, mercenaries, you know, the military industrial complex, the police, militarized police state. Read the enlightening articles on Bitcoin and sovereignty by Eric Kaysen. We seriously need to forget this extremely naive imagination that the political puppets and structures owned and controlled by literally a few hundred people who are in control of central banks, military industrial complex and technologies will just surrender the gigantic power and obsession for controlling humanity. This is not about money, wealth, or economic anymore, at least not by itself anymore. We are talking about the ultimate fight of approximately 8 billion people on planet Earth against super centralized, control obsessive, and parasitic structures beyond imagination who have no fucking ethical principles or empathy whatsoever. What comes after hyper Bitcoinization? Let us assume for a moment that a few billion people start buying Bitcoin and tens of thousands of businesses start buying Bitcoin as treasury reserves. And eventually we reach astronomical hyper Bitcoinization. Read, all be one cannot be super bullish article on that. Eventually, we will reach at least a hundred trillion dollar Bitcoin market. If Bitcoin's ultimate goal is to separate money from the state and give humanity true freedom, then we have no choice other than to bring up the question on how we, the self sovereign individuals, should deal with potentially aggressive, violent, coercive, and systematically stealing nation states, governments, and central banks who are in control of highly technologically advanced and super militarized police states and hardware. Bitcoin is still very far away from the visible pain point of governments or in central banks, but it could happen faster than expected. As Parker Lewis says in his articles, gradually than suddenly. So the question comes next, defensive preparation against the criminal nation states, central banks and highly technological militarized police. 
preemptive preparation on every level is strategically the only rational option humanity got. As Bitcoin's mass adoption is about to go into full gear within the next five to 10 years in technological corporations, independent from governmental control and military industrial complex, are loading up billions and trillions worth of Bitcoin onto the treasury balance sheet. We will hopefully encounter more and more zero to one and scalable technological innovations in the sector as energy production, transportation, for example, vertical takeoff, flying vehicles, air track, air taxis, drones, etc., living space, and for defensive purposes, also worth reading one of my other published articles. Technologically advanced defensive technologies will most probably go hand in hand with citadels of free private cities in the near future. Check out my podcast episode of Titus Gibble and Jeff Booth and other experts on this topic, CEO of Free Private Cities. So uh, check out my article, by the way, on Bitcoin, the monetary technological root key for human freedom. Self-sovereignty, hybrid Bitcoinized technologies, abundance, and freedom are humanity's desires. Each of one. Each one of us has some kind of deep fear underneath our conscious awareness. Unfortunately, the matrix of central banks, nation states, and governments has systematically indoctrinated, brainwashed, dogmatized, deceived, manipulated, defrauded, and stolen from humanity unimaginable amounts of time, value, and te technological ingenuity. Bitcoin is the evolutionary pin that will so-called so blow up these sick, parasitic, destructive, and seemingly untouchable structures beyond criminality. And finally, for the first time ever in human history, humanity can unleash its power of scientific, technological, and creative ingenuity rooted in the hardest and scarcest money. Humanity will experience the first time deflationary economics on an unprecedented scale. With an ever-increasing purchasing power of Bitcoin in a world of emerging zero-to-one technological innovations and economical structural abundance on every level you can imagine. If you wish a beautiful and abundant future for yourself and your children, all you need to do is to buy a small fraction of one Bitcoin and hodl. Everything else will take care of itself. There are so many ethical and dedicated Bitcoiners out there who educate, build, develop, and innovate. We are witnessing an incredible wave of more and more user-friendly technological applications, hardware wallets, mobile wallets, self-validating full nodes, decentralized peer-to-peer -peer exchanges, privacy tools, transactional lightning layers on top of Bitcoin's protocol, and so much more. Can you hear the sound of freedom knocking on your door? All you need to do is to make self-sovereign choices in your life and welcome the essence and ethos of the seed of monetary technological evolution and freedom, Bitcoin. On a final note, this short article will hopefully initialize and inspire the many brilliant Bitcoiners, scientists, technologists, researchers, authors, insiders, and whistleblowers to join me in a series of deeper, practical, tangible, and multifaceted discussions on this special and often ignored topic with a spectrum of experts, researchers, authors, insiders, and whistleblowers on my show, The Cave and Avani Connection. Thank you so much for listening. Please subscribe to my podcast show and to my YouTube channel that's anchor.fm slash Kevanavani from where it is distributed to you know to multiple platforms and on youtube.com slash Kevanavani. My website is kevanavani.com or directly if you want to go to my podcast, kevanavani.com slash podcast. Um, and of course please follow me and uh, follow you know a lot of other Bitcoiners I've listed here and on my Twitter thread uh Kevanavani. Thank you so much again. Uh, let me know if you have any questions, uh, desires, wishes, or suggestions for any future discussions or anybody I should invite on, especially. And if you can, you know, put up put up uh, some fi five star review if you've loved any any of these episodes I've done on Apple Tunes, of uh, uh, Apple Podcasts, or iTunes. I'd really appreciate that. And yeah, stay in touch. I'll see you soon again. And my name is Kevin Davani, the host of the Kevin Davani Connection Show. Have a great day. Bye.